Yes guys, what's going on? It's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Today I'm with Kalinikos Karanga, an absolute beast of the game. He's known for having the best backhand of all time. If you don't believe me, check this out. I joined with Karanga in Athens in the Greek National Team Training Centre, where we're going to review his backhand rubber, the Tenny Geo 5 FX, and also compare it to Tenny Geo 5, which he uses on the forehand. So we all know Tenny Geo 5, I did a recent review of that with Michael Mays, be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. O5 FX is a softer version basically, it has a sponge hardness of 32 degrees, so it's softer than Tenny Geo 5, with Tenny Geo 5 being 36 degrees. So that's really the main difference between Tenny Geo 5 and Tenny Geo 5 FX, it's just the sponge hardness and also the weight. Tenny Geo 5 FX is a bit lighter, it comes in at 66 grams, whereas Tenny Geo 5 comes in at 69 grams. Now Karanga uses the Viscaria blade, of course with 05 on forehand, 05 FX on the backhand, and I used my trusty bowl AOC with 05 FX on both sides. Let's go. Karanga is known for his backhand, so what a better way to start. And I could not believe how crazy his backhand is. It's so powerful, so spinny and so stable. It really is hard to explain just how good it is. Now that's how you backhand topspin. <laughs> uh, what's the secret to your backhand success? I think in the end is the wrist, but my shoulder okay. keep very high my backhand. Because in backhand you don't have so much time like in forehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forehand you can leave it back, you can go more down, you can go side. Yeah. With backhand you don't have so many chairs. If the shoulder is not up to play, it's staying up. And then I can use last moment the wrist or yeah. anything I can block. So it can be like this, can be like this. Yeah. Boom. 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 There it is, there, <laughs> there it is guys. You see, with the 10 energy 05 FX, uh -huh. I have the possibility to spin the ball and also to save it when somebody is coming back. With the harder rubber, you have to spin all the time. It's very hard to save with side spin. Yes! Good. Having used Tenny Geo 5 for so long, yes. it's noticeable how much easier it is Good. to play a backhand topspin with the FX version. It's softer, has more control and gives you more safety in your strokes. The reason being is that it's just softer, yeah. meaning you have more time with the ball. Ah, I feel like a bit like you now. Although guys, I do love the Tenny Geo 5 FX on the backhand. On the forehand it did give me some problems. As it has a lower arc than Tenny Geo 5, so I had to brush more into the ball to get it over the net. With Tenny Geo 5 on the forehand, you can hit passing shots against your opponents easier and with more speed. Yes! Did you see this ball? It was I, I took it from the shoulder and the 05 FX is helping all these small difficult balls to come. So you think for me it's better to block with 05 FX? I, I, yeah, much better. Here's Karanga crunching and ripping through the ball. This is where having 10 Geo 5 effects on my backhand was really useful as during blocks it's softer so it gives you a ton of feeling and comes off the bat slower. What? Kalinikos Karanga, legend. It's like you go into like beast mode where it's so automatic. You're not even thinking, you're just so now you're using 05 on the forehand. Yes. Before you used 05 FX. How come you change to the forehand of just 05 and not with the FX? Uh, I feel a little bit more harder uh -huh. and uh, it's easiest to overspin it. 
So my forehand need a little bit more power. It's very hard now to have a hard rubber in backhand. Every time I try to play a harder rubber in backhand, always playing good, but after I, I lose a lot of small things, like uh, you are always late a little bit. You can't touch the second ball or the third ball as you touch with the lighter rubber. So I prefer to have lighter and softer and touch all the time where I want and then improve your power. When you cut long, <coughs> Not so easy to have it with the hard rubber. You always try to take it at this timing point. As long as you cut it, yeah. as long as it's arriving to the white line, yeah. as much is difficult for you and then I can spin it. But if you cut in the middle of the table, then I need space to play long. This I need space for this ball. Yeah. So if you cut at yeah. the white line, it's uh, very good the effects to take this ball without so many uh, power. You just wait the wrist yeah. and lift it. Look. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I can't do it so good if I have a 0 5. It will go straight. Yeah. I agree with Karanga in that 0 05 effects is a lot easier to open up against backspin balls, especially when they are deep. This is because of the softer sponge, which gives you more dwell time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Mm. Counter topspin is good for effects. Not, On, not, so not. Good. That's why I changed. So for forehand, is 05 is better basically for counter spin. Yeah, yeah, because you need the counter spin anyway. Yeah. Effects first. Effects first. Okay. Okay, and okay. now I yep. take the, the, <laughs> the zero 05. I didn't okay. expect to be so bad down, okay. but. Now it's zero five, yeah? It show... It show different. Interesting. Now the 05 effect is very impressive when serving, as you can really accelerate into the ball while still being able to keep the ball short. Because it is softer, it soaks into the rubber more and Good doesn't serve. fly as fast. Zero five FX. Oh dear, guys, wow, it was incredible having the experience play against Karanga. His backhand is ridiculous, it's so powerful, so much spin, and uh, it was some experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, and it was really interesting to see Karanga's thoughts on using a softer rubber as a lot of the players at the moment, a lot of the pros tend to use harder ones. I think the best way to sum up the Tenor G05 FX is it's easy to use. It's really good at picking up backspin balls and this will really help developing players. As harder rubbers, this can be a bit more trickier as you have to be more precise. So Tenor G05 FX, because it's softer, gives you more time in this area. However, against the Tenor G05, it is a bit slower and less spinny but again, it's easier to use than 10G05. I'd say the 05 effects favors players who are looking for more control in their game rather than all out speed. And in terms of getting an idea of where it does sit in comparison to 10G05, it's around 10 to 15% slower. Now, I wouldn't say the rubber is for a beginner. It's still quick. 10G05 and 10G05 FX are still quick rubbers and too fast for beginners. However, for intermediate players, the 05 effect will be fantastic because you'll have a lot of time to really develop your strokes and feel the ball. For advanced players, the 05 FX will work really well if you like soft rubbers. And the great thing about 05 FX is that you can play 100% acceleration in your shots while still maintaining good control and feeling. Whereas with 05, when you play 100% acceleration, you can lose out on control. You do need to have good technique. 
Out of all the soft rubbers that I've used in the past, the Telegio 5FX is right up there. I feel like it's the best one I've used. It still maintains the spin, which is really incredible. You know, you don't need to put much effort and the amount of spin you get is very good, even though it's soft. So an absolutely fantastic rubber and I certainly recommend it. Now it does come at a high price point, 59 euros currently, which is the same price as Tenergio 5. Guys, really hope you enjoyed the review. It was an absolute honor to play against Kranga, one of my heroes growing up. Let us know in the comments if you prefer softer or harder rubbers. And as always guys, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.